Hello and welcome to the tutorial. So there's actually quite a lot in the tutorial. There's a few Easter eggs, there's a bunch of EXP chests, and there's also a code. We're gonna go in order throughout the entire level and at the end we'll cover the code. If you're just here for the code, go ahead and go over there. Right off the bat, during the loading, there's a little sign that pops up. I don't know if it's specifically for this level, but it happened here and it was pretty cool. Alright, the first little easter egg is gonna be right in the vehicle that you were traveling in. If you zoom in, you can see a little message. It's a little hard to see, but it says Music Sold is a cool guy. If you go to this gate, you can actually see that there's some across. To get to it, you have to go down behind the vehicle and travel the tracks. It doesn't look like much, but the number two right here is going to be the first instance of the code. Also, you can get some EXP from the little crate and some information from the site. In the same exact area, if you climb over here, you can see a little decal way down below. It's a little hard to see, but this is another little easter egg in this area. Now that we're back in the beginning area, the number 6 is going to be the next segment of the code. Continue traveling and you'll see a gate that looks like this. It'll have a small little opening. If you follow it, there's another chest. Once again, the number on the wall is going to be for the code. This is going to be the third segment. Continuing on the path, you'll see another chest. Just walk up the little slope and you'll be able to reach the chest. Once you meet up with Cypress, once again you can see the neon knights logo up on a wall standing here you can see a little crate far out and another number continuing the path you'll see a little lantern go in between this area and you can actually reach the crate the number nine is the final part of the code before entering the gate you'll notice there's an area right next to you. You can go along this area by going up to the gate and there's a little passageway. In this area is another crate and also on the wall you'll notice some letters and numbers. I don't exactly know what this is but it says OBM3 I'm assuming by the way the shape of the final character looks. The next crate is going to be exactly in front of your pathway. There's an open door and inside of there is going to be a crate next to four ceiling fans on the roof. After avoiding the hazards directly in front of you once again is going to be the next crate. It's over in a weird part of the map. Alright this one's my favorite. After killing all of the robots in this area if you go around the fence you can actually see it but it, the actual way you're supposed to get it is by going through the door the door was fake all along and you could enter it after you receive your weapon go behind these chairs and there's actually a passage this is the passage that they took to get to this area there's a chest and also some information on the wall. Okay, this next one's just for fun. You can actually slide on this electrical wire and you can go really high up. If you open the gate and you go back to the wire, you can actually go out of bounds and it's pretty fun. Do take note, if you end up falling out of the world, it'll softlock the tutorial and you'll have to redo the entire process. So if it's your first time playing the game, I wouldn't recommend going out of bounds. Continuing the path, you'll encounter some more robots, but there's a broken little transit rail in front of you. Inside the cart, there's a message. This message is very hard to read, especially with the screen shake. It'll be up on screen momentarily, and we'll get going to the next area. The very last chest is actually going to be in the boss room. This is a little bit tricky. You're going to want to go to the chest first during the boss fight. If you do it after the boss fight, you're not actually going to be able to get it. Immediately after the boss is defeated, you're teleported out of here and you enter the hub. So make sure you don't miss out on this free exp chest okay now we need to talk if you're here for the code and you're a brand new player i'm gonna tell you right now you are not gonna receive anything at least nothing yet you see the code actually gives you flux 500 flux but you don't receive it until you complete D2, also known as the transit. Just to prove it, I went all the way to D2 on this new save and I opened the gate, went to the area where I get the flux and I got 2000 instead of 1500. Normally, if you're a new account and you make it to D2, you'll only have 1500 after interacting with this area. That's gonna be everything for the tutorial and the code information that you might need. 
indeed. I hope this video was helpful, and if you're a new player, I have some other videos that go over many topics on this game. Go check them out if you're curious about anything. That's gonna be all from me, I hope you enjoyed, and I will see ya.